fundamental is a lift or a drop. Um, it's going to start with actually a slightly wider position than you uh, might be familiar with. So if I take the basic posture and I just slide that foot forward and keep weight on it as I lift my heel up, you know, I've got my Barbie doll shoe on, the ball of the foot is high or is deep, digging into the floor as the heel lifts but the base position of my body hasn't changed. I can be here or here to do these drops. So there's weight on both feet. We're gonna think about the uh, head of the femur. So we're looking at our thigh bone, the place where it goes into the hip joint. We're gonna think about lifting that directly up towards the rib cage. So it's gonna come straight up into the body. That belly button is staying pulled back and the low back is long. And then you're gonna let it relax down. So push it up into the body. Use those thigh muscles, push the ball of the foot into the floor, really start to feel all of this tense, feel that crease under your butt. Uh, you know, like the crease will become tighter as your leg goes straight up, and then relax back to the midline. For this movement, um, we're going to work with a midline, meaning the sort of neutral space, and then we'll go up and drop down, or up with tension, and then release and drop to that neutral space. I don't usually go below the midline um, for the fundamental movement. Okay, so weights on both feet, spine is nice and long, shoulders relaxed, belly hollowed out, lift that hip bone up towards the ribs, and then release everything. And as it comes down, let that energy ripple out. Tension, 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 tension. Take a moment, let all of this squeeze, let the glutes and the underbutt squeeze and feel all of the, the energy getting ready to do something, and then release it down to the midline. Up, release. Up, release. Up, release. A few times. Squeeze, 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 release. Squeeze, release. And I'm not adding a shimmy. It's just all that energy letting go. And then once it hits the midline, there's like a teeny bit of a contraction that allows my flesh to ripple out. So squeeze and then release. Squeeze, release. Other side. Base position, slide that foot forward. Make sure there's weight on both feet. The plumb line drops right between the feet. Pull that bone up, up, up towards the ribs. Hollow out the belly. Start to feel that tension through the thigh, through the underbutt. And then when you can't hold it anymore, release. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Release. Release. I'm gonna go on an angle for you. Squeeze, release. So this little crease under the butt, it's very active. I wouldn't say that the glutes are like squeezing this, like the main glute is not squeezing, but definitely the muscles through the side of the hip are working. And then release as it comes to the midline. to this and still keep the fundamental movement. That's the upper body position. I think a lot of people overlook subtle things like this and it takes out um, a sort of depth of character as they go along their dancing that they don't put in until later on. So I'm going to give you this tip from the beginning. If you take your basic position and tilt through the shoulders, Right, if you have like a line here, you can practice with a broomstick or something and just drop one end. As you lift your hip up, it gives it extra dimension. It looks like there's a lot more going on than there is. A really small and subtle change like that 
can make a big difference to a limited vocabulary. So even beginners can start to do things that look more complex, more articulate and creative, um, just with simple changes like this. Now that we've done the drop, let's see what the fundamental lift would look like. The posture is the same. The foot is uh, has slid forward. We're on the ball of the foot. And um, if you can see me in the mirror here, I'll try and move back so you can see me. My foot is super high. When I say Barbie doll shoe, I'm not kidding. Like get your heel up as high as you can and push the ball of your foot into the floor. When you're working in this position, you really wanna make sure that the weight is going through the first two toes so that when you're on the ball of your foot, the more of the weight is resting here and not going out towards your pinky toe. Um, so if you have trouble uh, and you feel like you're rolling out a lot, try to remember to bring that ankle bone in. That'll put you over those two toes and um, keep your ankle, your feet, your toes, all of those working uh, joints a little bit safer and more sturdy. Okay, so the same thing's gonna happen uh, in reverse. We're gonna come from neutral and there's, um, the, there's a preparation for this that is like a gathering of energy. So you're gonna have this sort of tension building and then lift and relax back down to the midline. So getting ready, you might even sink a little bit below the midline. Um, this is just something I have started to do over time as preparation for things like this, the sinking down, which is just like a little sit and then lift and release back down. So let's do without the sit first so we can see, <laughs> see the sort of base movement and then we'll add in the sit. So hollowed out, very lifted, try and feel very heavy through the pelvis and just lift, relax back down. Sharp, down, sharp, down, sharp, down. And it's coming directly up towards the ribs. We're not going out to the side. We're not going sideways. We're not thinking about the top of the pelvis. I really want you to get inside the body, inside the flesh, in, under the muscle, into that joint. If it helps you to think about the bones, then think about the bones. You really want to be internal and seeing that hip joint or the top of the thigh bone coming up towards the ribs in a vertical motion. Sharp, sharp, sharp. One other tool that might help you with both the drop and the lift um, is to get familiar with the curve under your butt. So one way I have people do this is they'll push their heel into the floor and kind of grab yourself and twist the leg. When you twist the leg, you should be able to feel these little rotator muscles um, in that curve under your butt. That's sort of the area that we're targeting lifting straight up. And when I lift, I feel a little bit of a contraction there so that when I release, that area is relaxed. And in reverse, for the lift, a similar thing happens. That part at the top of the motion is squeezing and then relaxes as I come back down. Lift, 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 lift. Let's try it on the left. So weight on that foot. See if you can start to get a little bit of the tension. If you need to, take a moment, rotate the leg, find those small muscles, and then lift, lift, drop. Down to neutral. Lift, 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 lift. Nice and sharp. Sharp, soft. Sharp, soft. Good. Okay, now let's look at this with the little sit that I mentioned before. So instead of starting at the neutral, we're gonna allow ourselves to just sink a little bit. And that's actually happening through the supporting leg. So my weight has shifted from center a little bit over to the straightened leg 
that leg's just gonna bend a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. Just, you know, like you're sinking into yourself. And then as that leg straightens, the hip is gonna come up. So just work the supporting leg first. Up, 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 up. And hip, 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 sink, 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 up, up. Good, let's try the left. Okay, from center, let your weight come over to the side a little bit. See if you can sink in a little bit. Sink in. As you're sinking in, you can think about maybe your pelvis sliding back slightly or really flattening the um, back of your spine, really lengthening there. Just let yourself, it's more than a physical thing, like everything that's happening and what we're doing has an energetic component to it that's going to add more interest to what you're doing. So really, you know, use the tools of visualization to help you. It's physical as much as the intentional process behind the thing. The sink, lift, sink, lift, lift, lift. Push the ball of the foot into the floor. 